Hi everyone, it's Gina K from Gina K Designs and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy card using stencils and embossing powder. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to make this card project. First, you're going to need some stencils, and the stencils that I'm going to use are the Art Stencils by Gina K Designs. For my sample that I'm going to make, I'm going to use the floral one, and then I have another project to show you where I use the foliage stencil. Then you're going to need some ink, and the ink that I'm going to use is Versamark ink. You're also going to need an embossing magic pad or some sort of uh, anti-static item. You can also use the EK Success Powder Tool. And I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs Fine Detail Gold Powder. I also have a little bit of blue painter's tape. And then for cardstock, I have some of the Gina K Designs Layering Weight White, some black onyx, and then I have a heavy base weight white card base. All right, so I have a piece of scrap paper here that I'm going to work on. And then I'm going to grab this white piece of cardstock, and I'm going to grab my stencil. Now you can use any kind of stencils you want. I really like these big, bold kind of stencils for this, but I've also tried it with other types of stencils, and it sure looks nice. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple pieces of the blue painter's tape because I want to make sure that my stencil doesn't shift during this. So I'm just going to tear off two pieces here. And if you don't have blue painter's tape, you can always use washi tape. And then I'm going to position my stencil where I would like my design to be. So I want it to kind of go off of the card a little bit, so I have it kind of trailing off to the left and down to the bottom. And then I'm going to tape that onto my cardstock, like that. And that just makes sure that everything is secure. Now, if you want to, you can also tape your stencil down onto your piece of scrap paper, and that just kind of really secures everything. So let's just do that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use my Versamark ink, and I'm going to use it almost like a like I was doing a direct to paper technique because that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to kind of push on this straight down. Now I'm not twisting it or anything because there are fine detail spots in many stencils and you don't want to move those spots. So I'm just going to go straight down pushing and pressing this ink through the stencil. And I'm also holding my stencil down as I do it. Helping to keep it tight so that it doesn't shift at all. Okay, and once that's all through there, then I'm going to pull up this tape, and then I'm going to remove my stencil from my piece of cardstock. Okay, now I know that that's hard to see because there is a watermark on there, but it's very difficult to see it on the screen. So my next step is I'm going to gently pull the blue painter's tape off of the sides here. And then I'm going to grab my gold embossing powder, and I'm going to sprinkle that all over my design. You can see how pretty that is. Okay, let me get my embossing powder back into the jar here. And then I'm going to grab my heat tool and I'm going to heat that design. Now you can start your heat tool a few seconds before you're ready to work with it just to make sure that it's nice and hot and then your cardstock won't warp as much. I'm just going to move a couple little flecks here that I don't like. You can also do that with a, a paintbrush. And then I'm going to heat emboss this. You can see by heating up the tool, it's going very quickly. You can also mix embossing powder colors if you want. You can do half in gold and half in silver. 
All right, so now you can see that that is all heat embossed. Isn't that pretty? It's another really fun way to use those stencils. Okay, now I'm going to grab my Misty because I want to add my greeting. So I have my Misty here. And I want to heat emboss my greeting as well. So I'm going to put my piece of cardstock into the corner of my Misty and I'm going to use my magnet. If you haven't tried the new Misty Bar Magnet by My Sweet Petunia, it's a really nice, strong magnet. It's a good one to try. And then for stamps, I'm going to use the Holly Jolly Mini Set. Seems like one of my go-to stamp sets every season. I just love this. I'm going to put that right here in this corner. Like that. Make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to use my embossing magic pad now. Dust that all over. And then I'm going to ink up the stamp using some of that Versamark ink. And then I'm going to stamp it. All right. Now I'm going to grab my piece of scrap paper again and some more of that embossing powder. And then I'm going to emboss it. The great thing about using the Misty is if there's any shallow spots in your embossing, you can even go back over that and re-stamp it with Versamark and then emboss it again. So that's a real neat benefit. And so that is the finished panel. Now I want to show you what my finished card project looks like. Here is the finished card that I did. I stamped this one down a little bit and I have the stencil down a little bit more. So, And if you find that yours is a little bit too high and you don't want your greeting to be up so high, you can always stamp the greeting on an oval or a rectangle die cut and then just lay it right on top of that so this way it can overlap a little bit onto the flowers. So here's the finished card. All I did was adhere that to a piece of black onyx and put it on a white card base. Now I want to show you another card that I did. This one I used the foliage uh, stencil. That's this stencil again. I used the foliage stencil and then I also used stamps from the Merry and Bright Stamp TV kit. I actually stamped one of the poinsettias and then the greeting and I cut the poinsettia out using the dies that are in the kit. And then I just popped that up in between all this here where the stencil is. I just popped the flower right on there. So that's another card project using stencils with heat embossing. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV project and I hope you'll give this technique a try. Stay tuned to Stamp TV for more card projects and thanks so much for watching.